Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we are in Guanajuato and in the footstep of the independence war that was in 1810 till 1821. I'm going to show you Guanajuato downtown. Many of the houses from back then are probably still there because it's world heritage. And in the end I'm going to show you Al Ondiga de Granaditas where the independence war took place in Guanajuato. This video is part 2 in my series about the Mexican independence war. Remember also to watch part 1 where I'm going outside Guanajuato to Dolores Hidalgo and Atotonilco where it all started. And like and subscribe to my channel to never miss out on anything. And now let's go and explore. In a world where nothing is what it seems, advantage taken, not my rooster dreams. When people are sleeping tight and warm. This is a beautiful basilica church. <laughs> Notice not the coming storm I'm happy I got you 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 Have you seen the out in the five hundred stars? Yeah, look at this also. People put this uh, room that is going out from the houses here because this used to be a drain where I'm standing right now. And so they used it as bathrooms. So they were just moving down like this <laughs> back then. But still come in water. Maybe they still use it as a bathroom. I don't want to go under that bathroom. Houses and everything. You sing while making secret signs, twisting and turning the human minds. Forgot the truth and inspire lies. Grave. 
Just walk up and down and up and down like this. Look at this beautiful house. Sorry. <laughs> what is this? Resting a little bit. It's a frog, mountain of frog. That is what Guanajuato means. Come, come see my frog. Look at this view. Come. When the time has reached the midnight hour, I go out in the night, cause my heart's on fire. Walk in the streets, the shadows are alive. I meet you tonight. Wicked souls from the land of nightmares. I know you protect me when I'm off my house behind a tree and on the ground. Things Things for my little dog in Denmark. It's another nice plaza. Looks very official. Places here in this town. Look at the statue, wonder what that is. Gandhi? Okay. And what is Gandhi doing here? You can say. But it was actually a present from India to Hanukkah. The sound of silence, the city sleeps as it is timeless. Feeling so deep, forgetting troubles in the silver light. Drink more bubbles, dancing all night.
Volvemos por la calle Pulgada, amigos. Subimos. It's a big market over there. I heard. Let's go and watch it. Principal entrance to that market. I'm going in. It smells like a little bit of cheese and coffee and everything. It's a mix of everything. Maybe the other way. It's about to close. I don't know if it's a market or a Catholic church or what it is. Look at this. So old, all of this. Look around. It's like they're selling everything here. This place behind me, this big building, is called Alondiga and it was a place in the old days to store its corn and it was a place for the Spaniards to hide under the independence because they could shoot out from these small windows so the Spaniards could just shoot down the hill and hit everybody but then there was this hero on the mountain that was so smart that he took a big rock on his his back and then he could come to one of these wooden doors and he burned it down and as you can see it's full of shooting holes in the walls here lots of holes and i guess it's from back then such an old building From 1798. This is the first sculpture of Miguel Hidalgo, that was the father of independence of Mexico. And stop going for whatever man. Change all the of shots up there. Now I can really see them clear from the independence wall. Some serious bullets hit that. Tiene como 25 Facebook. 
comes a hill where these Indians were trying to fight against the Spaniards and run up the hill against this big fortress and back then now there's stairs but back then there was only soil so he came climbing with his big rock and burned down the door and they won the battle so you can see how crazy it looks from down here to run up like this this big fortress I came to think of something that I haven't heard anybody speak about before the mummies of Juan Prato the mummies in the mummy museum was people that died in the 1800 Many of these people have actually witnessed the independence war of Mexico. How interesting is that? And we can see in the museum how they were dressed. And they all have their own unique story about Juan Prato to tell. That guy was a French doctor and died in 1800. Like this French doctor, Remigio Leroy, that is one of the most famous mummies in Juan Prato. He was born in Paris, but he immigrated to Mexico to study medicine. Later, he moved to Guanajuato to work in the mines as a doctor. He died in the early age of 45 because of paralysis. Due to a new burial tax his family didn't pay, he was digged up already five years later. And he was officially one of the first mummies. In the beginning, they were just storage in a storage room. Since people were so interested in seeing them in the storage room, they started to charge, and then in the beginning of 1900, they made the Mummy Museum. Like and subscribe to my channel and see you very soon. I love you so much.